Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Wendy and welcome to the Becerra family. It is a few days before our family summer vacation slash baby moon. So I am currently 28 weeks pregnant and we are going to be traveling to Mexico as well as Arizona so we have back-to-back -back vacations which we are super excited for and at the same time I'm like what am I doing going on vacation for two weeks straight pregnant but we're gonna make the most out of it and have a great time our first vacation is the Mexico one and then we come back for half a day and then we leave to Arizona for another week so right now I have to pack for two vacations we are a family of four two adults two children and I am pregnant so I gotta make sure we have like everything we need yeah so right now it looks like I have a hot mess of things over here but I want to show you guys how I pack how I get everything ready for vacation because like I said I pack for my whole family and I kind of have like a system going of how I do it and everything but I never packed for two vacations for back to back and they're two kind of different vacations porque uno va a ser en la playa como un resort kind of like a nice place and the other one's like more like camping style like lakeside um like that stuff and then extra and then the Mexico one is we're flying there we could only take carry-on bags and then the other one it's like a road trip we're driving so we could take whatever we want, but I don't want to overpack. So this is my system, more or less. I'm going to show you guys how I don't overpack and make sure we bring exactly what we need and all that good stuff. So just to let you guys know that a lot of our clothes that I got for myself, for Joseph, for the kids was from Shein. Shein honestly is a clutch place to get all your stuff for a vacation, for for summer vacation, for any type of vacations, you can find everything and anything you're going to need. Um, right now they have the Shein summer um, event going on. You guys could go and check that out. I do have a discount code with Shein. It's Becerra5 to save 15% off your, your entire purchase. And I'm going to show you guys because I am pregnant. You guys can't really see right now, but I am pretty pregnant. Um, this is my 28-week bump. We are in our third trimester, which is pretty crazy. Lately, all I want to wear is like band tees and like these are like maternity shorts. Um, but this is what's comfortable. But I want to dress up on vacation. I want to look cute. I want to feel cute. I needed bathing suits that were like maternity. So she was a perfect place for me to find stuff for maternity and for the kids bathing suits they have super cute and affordable because trust me i went to target and old navy and looked at like similar stuff that i bought and i would have spent way more money i bought the kids over 50 items and i spent about like 250 more or less maybe a little bit less and i got so much stuff such cute outfits so this is a Shein bikini this is a cover up um it goes like over your bathing suit for you when you know you get out of the pool or you're like walking from like your hotel room to the pool. So this is a cover up. I needed it to be like open because I didn't know how big I was going to be. I'm a little bit bummed out you guys because we checked the weather and it's actually going to be raining the entire time we're going to be there. But um, I know Mexico it's like tropical weather so one minute it's raining and then it'll be not raining for like two three hours and they'll rain. But it's still going to be hot. It's going to be like 87, 90 degrees. So, I mean, we're going to make the best of it. I'm not letting that, like, bun me out. I'm going to, like, still have a good time because I already paid for it. We're already still going to go regardless if it's raining or not. So, might as well, you know, think positive and have a good time. Let's see what we got over here. Um, all these clothes that I'm showing you right now are going to be linked in the description down below. So you could go ahead and just click it and it'll take you directly to that item. This is a two-piece. This is from their maternity line as well. It's a pink, pinkish skirt. has a slit on the side. And it comes with this super cute top. Ooh, it's going to be so cute. Okay, what else we have here? We have... Oh, this cute dress. Like you could wear it as a cover-up for your swimsuit or just like um, 
a regular dress too it's like a low back so it goes like this and it has like the scrunchiness if you want to make it shorter um a lot of the maternity summer ones that i got as well are like two pieces or dresses this is like a let's see what this one is. this is the beige oh this is cute too look at this it's a dress and it, it it looks like the skirt but this one's all together it's what the the dress is already attached it's a pretty long it fits me all the way down to like the bottom of my feet but i'm short so if you're taller it's gonna fit you not that long and then we have a little dress oh this is cute too this is like a mustard yellow summery dress this one is a size medium oh this is a super cute dress look at this super cute summer vibes it's like a tie-dye dress um this is not this is from the regular that's why i got a size large so it could stretch so it looks like it's gonna fit because it's like very stretchy yep this is one of their swimsuits it's like a little bundle i think it's a three-piece set let me check the top girl i don't know where i'm gonna fit them <laughs> this one looks a little bit small for me because my boobs have gotten so much bigger uh, i think we can make it work so that's the thing and then it comes with um shorts high-waisted shorts and it comes with a cover-up as well which is right here it's like a long sleeve guys because i don't want to try on everything right now because i know i'm gonna take it but it's this one's pretty long uh, another bathing suit this here are like it's kind of like a dress type of thing so it's kind of like those peplum tops it looks like a dress and it comes with the bathing suit right under i'm not comfortable wearing uh just two pieces and showing my stomach that's just me personally because i don't feel comfortable so i find like uh, one pieces that are maternity um maternity that don't show my stomach if it's two pieces i make sure it's like super high waisted but I'm just not comfortable showing my stomach. Maybe one day I will be, but not today. <laughs> and then we have this like cover-up skirt. Um, it's also instead of wearing like a whole dress cover-up, you just wear this and you just tie it here on the side. So when you get out of the pool or you're going to the pool. We have another bathing suit. This is just a plain black one you can never go wrong with just a black bathing suit this is also from their maternity section so i have a plain black one and then we have these pants they're like very beach vibes very like loose fitting and then this is a top you kind of have to make it i have to look at how <laughs> how it, but it's from the maternity because it does come with a little thing to make it tighter if you need to and we have this long summery dress. I'll probably take this to the lake with me. These super cute sandals. They go perfect with like a cute dress and stuff like that. So I'm packing these for sure. We can get into the actual packing part. So what I do is, where's my phone? Packing can be very, very stressful. I know, especially if you're packing for your whole family like I do. I need to make sure that everyone has underwear, socks, everything, you know, to the last detail. Because you don't want to be out there wasting time having to go buy underwear, having to go buy deodorant, having to go buy whatever. Or you underpack or you overpack. And I used to overpack all the time, like, big time. And now I've learned to, like... Um, plan it out where i don't overpack but i pack extra just in case so what i do is i just put it on my notes just a little example 
So I put how many nights we're how many nights we're staying and how many days. So for Mexico we're going five days, four nights. So I put that we need three PJs because I feel like PJs you can wear like up to two times, you know. They don't really get dirty. So I put we need three PJs. I mean six underwear, three pairs of socks because you're mostly wearing sandals. You're not gonna wear that many socks. We need four bathing suits, four casual clothes, four for dinner. Two pairs of flip flops, two regular shoes, an airport outfit, some blocks, Crocs, a light sweater, water toys, goggles, all our toy toilet trees. And then for for Arizona, we're actually going for more days, so I need to pack more stuff than for Mexico. So for Arizona, I did more PJs. I did four. I did um, four PJs, seven underwear, five socks. So I already broke it down to what I would need per day and stuff. So that's what I've been doing right now. So how I like to do it is make the outfits already. So I put the shirt that's going to go with the shorts, make that the outfit. You still only take one outfit per day, but then I realized, no, you need one for during the day, like to be out and about, go to the pool, go wherever you're going to go. And then you need one for when... You go out for dinner at night, like you go back to your room and you go and you shower and you get ready. So you need another outfit. So that's why I do four casual and four like dressy dinner outfits. So that's what we have here. And that's what it looks like. We have so much stuff. But let me show you guys how I broke it down. Right here is Joseph's. These are his dinner outfits with the shirt. I already have it here. So this is one. And then we have two, we have the shorts with the shirt. And then we have pants with the shirt. And then we have another pants with the shirt. All I'm missing right now are some shorts or pants for this shirt. And then that's ready. We have all his swimming trunks and then he wanted some outfits for the gym. We have all his underwear. He needs three more pairs of socks. And then over here, vines and I just went through all my sheet and stuff. I gotta make sure I gotta reorganize myself, but I got the kid stuff all over here. So we have all of Noah's underwear. We have his fancy dinner clothes, not fancy, but you know, these are all from Shein. This is super cute. We got the banana with the short. This one didn't come with shorts, so I packed the shorts here. This one comes with shorts, so this is an outfit right here. And this one comes with shorts, so this is an outfit, so he has his three outfits and probably one from over here probably like I don't know but these are his casual ones we have one two three four five I packed like an extra one because Noah he gets dirtier quick so I had to pack him extra then we have his three PJs right here and we have his Four swimming trunks outfits right there. And then Emma as well. We have, we're missing one bathing suit for her, but we have one, two, three bathing suits. We have her sports bras, her underwears, her casual outfits, her dressy outfits. Here I have the purses I'm going to take. I have like water toys and a mesh bag that I got at the 99 cent store for all of our dirty clothes. And then we have a first aid kit, just in case. I have their sunblocks. I have to make sure I got the travel size. I hope that these are going to be okay to take. Sunscreen and stuff. I have all of our hair tools for me and Emma. I got this container at the 99 cent store and I just put everything in here. I still have to like go through all this stuff and... Kind of make sure, but these are the kids' um, shampoos, conditioners, toothbrush, toothpaste. We have some more water toys. I recently went to the 99 to stock up on a few stuff. Um, this is we have face masks in here just in case we are to need them, and an umbrella because it looks like it's raining. This is for Joseph. And then this is where I pack my shampoo conditioner. Let me show you guys when you open it. And I love it. But this one's too big to take on this vacation. So I'm going to take this one with us to our lake vacation. Because we're going in the car and I can pack more stuff. But 
You open it like this. I need to go through it to see if we, I need to restock them some stuff or take out some stuff. And it has a middle compartment too. This is from Amazon. And then I have another one that this is the one I'm going to take on this trip. I got it on Amazon too, but you open it and then you're also able to hang it up in the bathroom. It has a lot of our stuff. These are more travel size things too. So, um, like this, like I'm not going to be needing this on this trip early because, you know, we're pregnant. So I can take these out and put something else here instead. Uh, first, I want to pack the kids stuff up. Um, this time around, I actually got packing cubes, which I've never used. I usually like just pack however, but I found these. They were on sale for $7 at TJ Maxx. And I want to try out packing cubes because I heard that they save you so much space. And so we're going to see if they are actually helpful or not. So I'm going to try. We're all taking carry-on luggages. So let's try it out. So these are the packing cubes. This is the one one of the packs. I'm gonna use this for Emma. So it comes with this pretty large one, and then it comes with like the medium sized one, and then the small one. I think the medium one. I'm gonna put all their bathing suits, her and Noah's. I'm gonna try to see if I can put them both. This is gonna be like all her outfits, and here I'll put their underwear and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and see. This is my first time using packing cubes, so we'll see if they're helpful. Usually I'll just roll everything into like, and shove it in here, but we're gonna try packing cubes. We have her bathing suit with the cover up that she's gonna wear, and now I'm just gonna like roll them up to make space. We have Noah's. Noah's is a little bit easier because they're just swimming trunks, so I'm just gonna roll them into like little burritos. Yay, it's actually perfect. I fit um, a total of eight bathing suits, four for Emma and four for Noah. And still, I would probably be able to like put more stuff if I wanted to. Now we're able to put, we put all her outfits in here and now we're able to put her three pajamas. So actually packing cubes look like they are a, a game changer for me. I'm able to shove everything. And now it's all of Emma's outfits were packed into one of the large cubes. Now let me get the luggage out. So we have this one, which fits perfectly on one of the sides. And I can still probably put some more stuff. Like I'll put Noah's outfits that are already in these baggies. Perfect, 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 perfect. And now I'm just gonna put the rest of Noah's clothes here. I just fit six bathing suits, mine with the cover-ups, they're all in here. And then I just finished Joseph's, his five outfits, and I put a belt because he had extra space. These are from the Isaac, Misari brand. They're actually pretty big. And then over here I have all of Joseph's underwear and socks. 
And then over here we have his four pairs of trunk with a shirt and then a pair of sweats, a pair of shorts, and an extra two t-shirts. So all of that fit in here. So all of Joseph's stuff is done. Now we're on to my stuff. So you guys, we are able to conceal everything. Now this is Joseph's luggage. So vamos a echar todas sus cosas. We're gonna put this one over here. Fits perfectly. <laughs> And we're gonna put these on this side. All right, guys, we're down to the last bag. I'm gonna be um, putting all of our shoes in here and all of the hair products and all this stuff. I put stuff over here. And I gotta take those floaties. So I gotta be able to shove these in here. Okay, guys. <laughs> I finished packing for the Mexico trip. Aquí ya tengo todas las maletas listas. Um, I'm just missing some shoes in this one, but I just, um, I bought Noah a bunch of flip-flops and sandals, a size bigger, thinking his foot grew, and all of them fit him super big, so I have to go and return all of that. But I'm just gonna leave it open just to put a little couple more things, but pretty much that's done. I just got to get their backpacks ready, which is going to have like their tablets, coloring book, um, crayons, and other stuff. But now I'm going to start on the Arizona trip. This one's going to be a little bit different because we are driving there. So I feel like I can take more stuff. Like here I have to make sure everything fits and doesn't go overweight and all that stuff. For this one, I'm just going to take one huge bag for all of us um the packing cubes came in clutch like if you guys are not using packing cubes you should definitely buy some because they were such a game changer for like the carry-on luggage this one i'm gonna just have to roll up everything and do it like the old school way how i used to do it but when i'm getting ready i'm getting all the kits and myself and joseph's outfits ready like i did for here but i'm making sure everyone has like bathing suits and outfits together all that stuff but this one is more of a relaxed trip more of like a casual i don't have to worry about like dressing up too much or taking like um super dressy clothes it's more like a lake lake stuff so just shorts and a t-shirt it's fine and um stuff like that so that's what i'm doing right now i'm already so tired and getting hungry but i want to finish it because i don't want to worry about it oops I don't want to worry about it. I want to have that ready out of the way. Especially this one because as soon as we come back from our trip, like I said, the next day we leave. So I don't want to come back from Mexico and have to pack for Arizona. And that's just too much. I'd rather just leave everything ready before we leave. So I come back and just relax and not have to worry about all that stuff. So yeah, we can do this because this the next couple of days I'm going to be going to get my nails done, getting my eyebrows done. All that stuff, my sister-in-law is coming from Texas, so we're going to spend time with her. And yeah, I don't want to worry about packing. If I pack two, three days before, I feel like I'm more at ease and not like stressed out before we go on vacation. So that's what we're doing and making outfits. Alright guys, so I was able to successfully pack a week's worth of outfits bathing suits, underwear, and everything into one big suitcase. So this side is mine and Joseph's, and then this side is the kids. But I am washing clothes because I'm missing a couple of underwear and a couple of socks and stuff. So I need to wait till that's done. And since we are going on a road trip, like I told you, um, I'm making the kids like little things for the car to entertain them these are emma's water shoes i need to make sure i pack those um i got these at the 99 cent store like the one i put my hair ties and all that this one's noah's and this one's emma's they have crayons and color pencils and since we're going in the car i'm gonna be putting everything in like a basket like this and i have coloring books yeah, i got it at the 99 
just stuff to like keep them entertained and I'll be like watching their phone the whole time. And then I'm Amazon, I got um, these for each kid for the car. And it goes like right on top of their lap. And it's for them to like be able to, it holds a tablet up here and it has like a space for them. And also if they're eating or something, it has like a cup holder. Oh yeah, it comes with it. It has a dry eraser mark board, that's why. So it looks kind of like this and it goes like right on top of their lap. And this kind of folds down and it has it comes with some markers and a whiteboard and a whiteboard and keeps them entertained for a little bit. But yeah, those are the little trays. I also got myself a portable fan because it's a pregnant hot girl summer. Um, this is USB charge and then could be like portable. So here's the basket with the stuff that I'm gonna put in the car. I'll probably add like some snacks and stuff for the kids, but. Oh, I think I'm finally done. It's just like last, I'll do like little more things tomorrow and I'm done. I just need to pack like, you know, my makeup and um, the stuff that's washing. But other than that, as long as the clothes is packed, I think we're good. But yeah. Um, how do you guys pack or how long does it usually take you to, are you the one that packs like the day before? Or like a week before, three days before. I feel like when you pack for your whole family, you kind of have to be like organized because you want to make sure not that one person is not missing something. So I think I did a pretty good job of packing everything. It's not going to be fun when we come back and have to unpack. I think packing is like entertaining, a little bit fun, but unpacking, that's going to take me like 20 business days. And now I'm officially starving. Um, I left out the clothes we're going to use for the airport. I get everyone's little outfits to wear to go to the airport. Um, Emma goes with her dad this weekend, so when she comes back, that's when we're going to leave. Our flight is at 9 in the morning. That means we have to be at LAX by 6 in the morning. It means that we have to leave the house by 5.30 in the morning. You know, with all this planning that I do, you would think I would be on time places. But I'm not, which is ironic. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it. Um, we're going to bring you guys along our trip. And I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Tips and tricks where we stay, what we do, stuff like that. But I'm also going to bring you guys along um, the next couple of days, you know, getting ready for my trip. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. But that was it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I got a little bit of an insight of how I pack. If that's useful to you or not. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon in another video.